We're here at the Ear Gear Expo at Expona. Uh, we're gonna do a quick walk through, kind of like what we did for Rocky Mountain Audio Fest Can Jam, just a, a quick tour of the facilities uh, so you guys can see what's here. Uh, there won't be any deep dives into any products, but I'll just kind of cover briefly what's going on in each uh, booth. So here we go, we're gonna walk in here. You can see as, as soon as you walk in, Sennheiser's got a major, major presence at this show. Uh, we really have on display the momentums connected to um, iPads here. So just kind of really showcasing that, really fun. Uh, all the different assortments, obviously they have a wide color range for the momentums, but also uh, they have the different around ear and on ear versions. You can see this one here is brown and smaller than this one here that's red and black. So, a uh, pretty cool display. There's a bunch of them, including uh, this little portable unit over here. Uh, we also have Sony Music uh, has graced us with their presence here. We have the on the PHA2, the portable headphone amplifier, uh, which also does the uh, DSD. Pretty swanky. Well, it looks like over here we have the PCM D1000. This is a high res recorder. Stereo, no less. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, and then obviously their whole headphone line. The HAP S1 uh, is a 500 gigabyte high res uh, hard drive in it, and it's a music player. Uh, class A B amplifier, two channel, again DSD. Also uh, works with a remote app on the uh, for your tablet or phone. Pretty cool stuff. I really like to see this case kind of improvement, especially coming down from Sony, the guys who really helped out, uh, you know, pioneered the DSD technology. So it's good to see some external support for it. Uh, Sony is also producing uh, a separate high-res DAC separately. The USB high-res DAC system here is called the UDA1 uh, headphone amplifier, but also supports obviously all the good stuff, uh, including DSD and all the other file types. So uh, nice to see you know Sony kind of have a wide product swath here for everybody to check out. Uh, Noble Audio is here in uh, fine form. They make a custom in-ear monitor molds as well as a uh, universal fit. Uh, they have a wide selection on display and nice cross-section of almost all their products. Uh, they also are partnering with uh, Hugo, the world's finest, the first reference class portable deck and headphone amplifier, according to the sign here. But um, i get her in focus for you guys. This thing's pretty slick. Color changes as you move the volume. A uh, little bit higher end, probably the most expensive portable one I've seen in a while at uh, $23.95. So uh, some flagship stuff come out of here from the UK uh, company Hugo. Or Cord, rather, sorry. From Cord, the name of the product is Hugo. Always a show favorite. Uh, we have Estelle and Kern here with their full lineup of play. Connected to uh, Pandora Hope 6 headphone, uh, but if you guys might recognize the, the AK100, uh, they have the 120 and also the 120 Titan on display, as well as the AK240, the big flagship uh, that's been getting a lot of press lately. Uh, rounding out the show, Focal is here, uh, mainly known for their uh, upper end uh, flagship loudspeakers. They also have a, a headphone line now, highlighted by three models, uh, as you see here on the sign, the Spirit One, Spirit Professional, and the Spirit Classic. Uh, this display here also features some of their desktop stuff, including speakers and this Focal system here. Headfi.org and show's favorite Mr. Speakers uh, with his Alpha Dog line, 
the the newest model includes a 3D printed headphone uh, in addition to his Fostex uh, T50RP mods. Uh, he's, it's his newest iteration. Very, very sweet sounding system here with the Alaric Vega DAC connected to liquid glass uh, to his closed back 3D printed headphone. Uh, probably one of the best sounds in the room. Amazing. Is at the show the Taurus MK2 headphone amplifier here, a uh, pair of LCD 3s connected to the Vega DAC, like once again, a really sweet sounding DAC. Also on display the Gemini 2000 and 3000, which include a headphone amplifier and DAC in the base of clutch design uh, headphone stand. So all that's located in the base there, pretty, pretty sexy stuff, looks good on your. I'm desktop. Ansong Audio and Calyx Audio at the thing you can, at the show here. You can see the coffee on display here. Smaller portable um, headphone amplifier and DAC, as well as uh, the more flagship two headphone amplifiers, the HPA 3000 and the HPA 5000 here, two state. Uh, headphone amplifiers connected to uh, Odyssey's and uh, Mr. Speaker's Mad Dogs. Also, the Calyx uh, flagship deck from them called the Femto, which utilizes a Femto clock with the uh, O Bravo, uh, with the, the HAMT1 and the HPA1. They uh, have it's a two-way headphone. T version includes the the ribbon tweeter, and then the other version, the HP. One is here. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, really, really interesting to see a two-way speaker with two different drivers interacting at the same time. Fun. I'd like to see these kind of uh, changes in headphones. Excited to see where they're gonna go. So have ZMF uh, headphone mod company that also utilizes the T50RP uh, with a couple of his new models. He has some, you can see some of the older models here that resemble the same backs, but then he's changed uh, the form factor here to include a wood backs and in further modifications. The name, the product name is the uh, Vibro on the new ones here with the wood backs. Also on display we have the new Wu Audio WA7D with the separate tube PSU uh, connected to a pair of Odyssey's XC headphones. Very sexy stuff. People have been commenting on the, de on the design of these all weekend. Uh, on this side we have the Vega DAC once again attached to uh, the King Sound electrostatic headphones and the corresponding solid state electrostatic headphone amplifier. The, the model is the H3 on the headphones and the M10 on the uh, amp. Uh, kind of an interesting combination that comes in around a thousand dollars which is considerably cheaper than other electrostatic um, models like stacks which tend to be quite a bit more than that so kind of a fun find I've written about it on the site how much I think it's cool great sound good pricing as well uh, we're down here downstairs uh, at Expona a bunch of really great vendors all the way down uh, down the hallway but in particular uh, the woo audio room here uh, as you can see through the window uh, we ha there's Mike and uh, I'm gonna head on inside and just kind of take a look at what Jack has on display. <clears throat> uh, here we have the CD Transport in Silver, uh, one of his uh, sources that he that he makes. Uh, I really enjoy all the make of all of his in product line. Some of the best designs and durability, really solid, solid um, a feeling for the product. It's just really heavy, you feel really well built. Uh, this right here is 
what you may have seen before, the WA-7 in silver. This is a solid block of glass on top of here that helps diffuse the heat and, um, and just is really elegant design with that one. I think they have it running uh, here from the, with a camera connection kit uh, from, the, uh, from an iPad, so that can also be used as a source. You can see it's plugged right there in the back in the USB. Here we have the WA-7, but also with the WA-7, uh, as you can see, TP, that's the tube power supply. So uh, they have it running here to a pair of LCDXs. It is the LCDX. I thought it was just the X this whole time I've been calling it something wrong. Over here we have the WDS-1. Uh, this is a DAC that also complements the CD transport we saw earlier in black. Uh, connected to a Sony source running uh, I've reviewed this one myself I really really enjoy it a little extra power over the WA6 this is the WA6 SE uh, excellent yeah this is uh, the stock tube but you can also get the Sophia up uh, tube upgrade uh, that's a pretty fun so a really great amp running single-ended to a pair of LCD uh, threes uh, this is the WA2 single-ended headphone amplifier once again his uh, transport but you can see that you know a wide variety of headphones down here on display the, I really love this headphone as well it's the T1 by Bayer Dynamic a really great headphone a lot of punch uh, and I'm really just a great all-around sounding setup down here very fun stuff